So this is just some tips and tricks on how to beat the race section of the fair play chapter on classic difficulty mode so let's get right into the video so what you want to do at the start of the race is make sure you're revving your engines this is just so you get a little bit of a speed boost for when the race begins and this next bit is what I particularly do is when you when we're driving out of the start line I particularly stay to the left side this is just so I can get a couple positions ahead of some other other races in the race but sometimes they can get in the way and you can barge them out the way and there is a little bit of it sometimes they will go over your head but that's perfectly fine it's just make sure you don't get stuck on anyone or you'll get spun out early and it's pretty much easier just to restart the race because you spun out really early on but other than that once you get to the first corner which is probably the worst corner in the race is you want to stick as close as you can to the left side which is the side with the hair and this is just to make sure because if you go too wide you will potentially spin yourself out straight away and there's no potential chance of coming back from this so what you want to do as soon as you come off that corner you're going to see a little grass section and this little grass section you want to do a little cut through because at the start of the race it will give you a couple positions if you're at the back of the pack so this this will potentially get you ahead of where you can get into probably the middle or if a lot of um, races have clumped up together because sometimes they do do that where they get clumped and they get stuck on each other's wheels you, you can potentially get into fifth which fifth or fourth area which is really good at the start of the race so once you come off that patch of grass and you come back onto the straight part of the racetrack there will be another section where there's more grass at the end and we will be using it in the same way where we're going to use it to go across so we can get some more positions early on in the race this normally puts you around about sixth seventh maybe fifth if you're very lucky this this is very good early on in the race because it gets you because you really want to be chasing after those that first position really early on in the race because it does come very difficult later on when we come to this next section so when, once we come off that grass we're going to come to this bend section which is probably the most major section of the race because we can get almost speed around this section so what you want to do is just follow the road make sure you don't bump into the first crash driver that comes across at this section and while you're going around this section if you feel like you're going to spin out just make sure you do tap your brakes a little bit not too much because that will spin you out completely but once you're going up this hill the hill is the most important part because this is where we can get the most speed as soon as we get to the top of the hill you want to be tapping your handbrake and this is just so we can slow ourselves down so we don't spin ourselves into the hay bales that are coming up around the corner and this is also very useful to just when we go down the slope is where we're going to get our most speed so what we do is when we come to that bend section at the top of the hill we want to tap our brakes a little bit after we just tapped our handbrake so this is what we'll do you want to put your foot down on the throttle for when you're going down the hill and once you get about halfway down the hill just let go of the trigger completely and let the game take you and just make sure you can angle yourself where you do not bounce off the upcoming mini little hill because this will flip you out and this can benefit you if you do go over the hill too fast it can spin you out or it can get you a position in the race but I don't I wouldn't risk that because you got a higher chance of messing up so just like earlier there's gonna be another grass section coming up but this time we will not be using it because it I've used it a couple more couple times and it really just doesn't go in your favor half of the time because you will spin off and go into the hair so you want what you want to do is stick to the right where all the cars are going or maybe go to the left sometimes depending on your speed and this what you want to do is if you feel like you're going to spin out or you're going too fast tap your brake multiple times and it will slow yourself down and it's really good for when you're going around the corner and you will be doing the same thing around the next bend which is going to be doing the same thing just on a different angle and then once you do that you'll be on this straight you want to go as fast as you can coming up to the next bend is which we instead of slowing down you want to go as fast as you can going up the slope just make sure you don't hit the top because that will spin you out what you do after you come off that bend is that you want to go as fast as you can down this straight section and you want to hit as soon as you hit the finish line in this area you want to try and slow yourself down as much as you can but don't hold the throttle don't hold the brake just keep tapping it just to slow yourself down because you want to keep some speed when you go into that first corner but you don't want loads of speed going around that first corner again because it will spin you out like I did say earlier but as soon as you do that we're going to go and repeat the same process until we get to the about the same area again with the hill just this time with the hill there will be someone who's get knocked out of the race because they go over the hill i told you not to go over because it does not go in your favor and this is one of the reasons why and just this time when you do it just try and not hit the hit the guy who's just spun himself out basically so the rest of the race you want to do the same thing up to, to your third lap and when you've roughly come to the the hill section again on the last lap you should be around second place maybe third place but you want to roughly try and get in second place the reason we want, I want you to get in second place for this is by, by repeating these ta this tactic is the reason is the guy in front will spin himself out on the last corner he will go too fast around the bend and he will actually hit 
he will actually hit the barricade and spin himself out. I have actually, when the first time I got to this, I actually did end up spinning out myself because I actually hit him because I didn't actually know because I kept restarting. Just make sure you know where all the crash drivers are in the race because that will help really, really well because you'll know which, which parts have crash drivers and which ones don't. Other than that, thanks for watching like tips and tricks tutorial of how to beat the race on classic mode because classic mode is a very, very difficult version of the race. Probably the hardest part of the game so far that I've got to in classic mode. Other than that, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.